Hey there, Froggy. Can you hear me? Sure can, buddy. Okay, good. Got a little deja vu action going on here. Mm -hmm. You already you already in a world? No, no. Put in, put in the uh, social media. Gotcha. Clip out. I'm gonna see if this world let me put my camp in. If it does, then it might be a good one for us to work from. Oh, look at that! First try. I got a, I've got a guy that's uh, wanting to get some levels. Okay. He's a old, old, old friend of mine. Excellent. Happy to run with him. Pretty relatively new to the to the universe. He's on like one, one, one twenty-five, one fifty, somewhere in there. The experience at Red Lobster didn't live up to my uh, expectations. I've really changed some things there. I hope you appreciate this one. Oh, did you put a new? Did you put a new uh, label up? I looked. I got you up. I kept the same one I had yesterday. I just put Deja Vu in the title. Doom Kitty, welcome in. Good to see you. Welcome into the stream. We'll be uh, on the game in just a moment. We're just putting out some social media. Hoping you appreciate this uh, X clip. You should go check it out, actually. On Twit? Uh, on X? Yeah. Can we just make? Can we just call it Twitter? Because I mean, that's that's what we know it as, right? It's weird calling it X. I was on. Uh, we we both were on. Uh, Shoot, five, six hours earlier today? Running? Um, yeah. Yeah, we started around 11 noon and ran till almost five. Um, I had to go and leave. I had made some plans with my family. We went to dinner and caught a movie. literally just drove home and got right back on well, hopefully you have the weekend off and you're able to catch some Z's and get some double XP this weekend Well, most of the time Fallout is my life Jeremiah can attest to that I play this a lot a lot. We'll see if that gets any attention. Sandy clipped out that clip yesterday of me talking about ass grabbing on you and you not having any ass. <laughs> So I threw it up in the tweet since you like tweets with content. <laughs> and you're tagged in it too, so enjoy that. <laughs> Are you in a world that you're going to stay in? Yeah. 
Okay. Thank you, Doom Kitty. Welcome, man. Come check in later when you get a chance. We'll get you a shout out when we get a few more people in here. Oh, pocket death's on. That was the buddy I was telling you that I was in, I was talking to about coming and joining us. So we might have <laughs> four and two. Have a hard time finding my ass. <laughs> That's oh, I gotta pull funny. your stream up and. <laughs> That's still funny. I don't care. <laughs> it's a good clip, isn't it? <laughs> it's a great clip. Oh, you got the last day of double XP. We're gonna have to make it. We're gonna have to make it count, Neen. We'll have to come by. We'll have to. We'll have to get make it count. What was I doing? Oh, yeah. I was gonna go start getting my buffs up. I, I wish I could have reached more. Let me get my sleep up and I'll get my stuff on me, but I want to reach out to Pocket Death first. Before I forget and, um. See if he wants to come join us for these runs. Let's see. Let's put let's put it in context. I started playing this game on April fourteenth of this year. I have a I have eight hundred and fifteen hours since April nineteenth of this year played in this game. Eight hundred and fifteen hours. That's quite a few hours. Look at him, look, he look like freaking Terminator coming into the flame like that. Pretty awesome. You're up? Yep, I see you. Okay. Pull your tab over. Aw, oh, you should definitely well, just pull Jeremiah's up. It ain't gonna hurt my feelings. Who are you talking to? Means in my channel. Oh yeah. Taking it all in. Pull us both up. That's what tabs are for. Uh, they're they're trying to play. Hold up. I forgot to let my cats out. I'll be right back. They're not do what too you gotta happy do, man. About still being put up. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hmm. <laughs> Say hi. Say hi to everyone. Yeah. I was so mean. I left you put up. That was so mean of me, huh? No, uh, she her. Her name is Timon. The other one's name is Puma. Say hi. Yeah. Say hi. You're supposed to look up there, doofus. <laughs> there we go. You're just wanting to play. Ah. You're just wanting to play. They just turn one All year right. old. You got your cats are only a year? Yep, they, yeah, well, they, they just turned one year a couple of weeks ago. 
and they've been pretty good they've been pretty good companions for the most part i just can't let them stay out unsupervised because they will yeah, destroy I got you. everything as long as i'm here in earshot and eye shot of them they they stay pretty 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 mellow they're pretty rambunctious at one year cats are yeah they still they still got the kitten in them yep Even our cat still gets rambunctious. She's a couple of few years now old. I don't know how old she is. I, I, I'm terrible anymore, Brad. I just lose track of the years. I, I'm, it it's sounds easy. terrible, but I'm it's getting easy. that. It's easy. It's easy. I'm getting that point where like people are like, no, that was f five years ago. No, wait, that was five, and I'm thinking it was like a few or something. It just gets, it gets to where you just don't remember the year of things because years just fly by, buddy. They really do. They just speed up. They go fast when you're having fun. That's what they say. Um, what are you working on now? You you still getting your? I'm laying in I'm laying in my bed right now, just getting my bed buff, and then uh, I'm just gonna head to your base because everything else is on me. I don't need anything out of my base. I re I repaired uh, earlier today. I went and made sure all my shit was repaired before I got off when we were playing earlier. Nice. So. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I didn't want to. I made sure everything was sold. I made sure everything was repaired because when I knew, I knew when we were getting on, we we're going to be getting straight to this. So, all right, uh, I might grab my company tea if there's some. There. Uh, the collection uh, besides... behind me is a variety of different statues, movies, video games, things that have caught my eye over my my years of collecting. You got a really cool um, memorabilia collection for sure. You got a big memorabilia collection, Brad. <laughs> it's a lot of stuff. And it spends over the whole It's impressive. Uh, it's not letting me join off the one yeah. menu. Let me I see if we can do it here. I on this side that I play on sometimes if I want to just chill. And then on this side I have more memorabilia and games. This is my happy me. place. <laughs> Turn the music dead. down just a hair. I accidentally hit the grenade button twice as I was trying to show that off. Okay, Brad, Brad Tech's here. Come on, man. Just climb up. Uh, let me grab, uh, boom. All right, all right, all right. Actually, what am, I better check my status, actually, real fast. See where we're at with some things. I might have actually taken... Yeah, I've got 30 minutes on my current brain bomb, so... Someone's I'll actually buying my stuff. Appreciate the business. I'll actually save that, because I'm less on brain bombs. Take my relish. What else is on my status? Do I love love 30 minutes? I'll wait 30, 30 minutes on that. Um, everything else looks like it needs to be updated. We're just going to go in order here. I think that'd be simplest. All right. I got to go do your machines. Just running through a burning house trying to hit these machines. I... I don't care. I think it's awesome. I think it's <laughs> yeah. one of the coolest things that they've added is the ability to put fire in the base like that. Uh, you have a max date. Did it say I was at max? You have a max daily of uh, 40,000. Or not daily, but on your person at one time, you can only have 40,000. Oh, you're talking about caps. And I'm close to it, but I'm not quite there. Is your buddy coming, or? Uh, he said ten. I don't know if that's ten my time or ten his time. Gotcha. Oh yeah, I hit forty thousand. I moved. I moved cats on a uh, caps onto my mule. Um, I'm able able to earn again currently.
About 30 minutes remind me I need a brain bomb and a... And a uh, yeah, don't and put a, that um, on me. I'm not going to remember. On an LL3, so... Just before 8.30, okay. So that right, I need a company to... to... 70, and then once we get our team, it'll put me to 71, 72, 73. So, yeah. I'm ready. I believe I'm ready to start running. I'm 65. Um, Make sure I didn't move, remove a card I need. Inspirational's on... Um, I'm going to share with you this. I'm sharing curator. Oh, cards already being shared. Okay. All right, going in. Um, you already go. I was team leader. Wow. Oh. Yep. I guess for the first run, you could run in your own instance actually, and I could run in my own instance, and then we could start swapping, so both people get the full experience for the first run. Yeah, it's too late. I'm already in here with you. Yeah, just the thought now that I'm... Yeah. All good, though. I appreciate the, uh, the knowledge. Item. Ammo. Did I load my ammo back on? Uh, oh, I also probably should grab some ammo. Okay, good enough. I got 700-something right now, but that's not going to last the whole time. It'll last a good bit. It will. Rounds. Oh, yeah. Over and duck dive dodge. That's 10,000 on that door, and that's my experience not even doing the damage, by the way. Which means he hit for like 20, maybe even higher. 20 to 25. Almost 20. And there's a level. I, you guys had um, blow up West Tech. I, I run primarily with um, the railway rifle, so I'm using railway spikes mainly. Um, I use a lot of 45 too because I enjoy using the fixer. And, then and so, lately I've been using a bunch of fusion cells because I've really started getting into using the Tesla rifle. I really, really uh, like railway rifles. That dog tried to get me. I got several. Oh shit, I'm still teamed on the torso. What, uh, what gun do you use primarily? I see you said you use a heavy gun. What type of heavy gun do you Ooh, use? Ooh, he got me! Oop, I hear... Oh, you died, died, didn't you? Yeah. All right, going back in there. Hold on. My health was already kind of low, and um, I have a flag. I'll pop it in a second. I'm not too worried about it on this run, but that way next time that doesn't get me. All right, what I just did there is I pulled out an instigating weapon, which is going to increase the damage of this grenade against enemies at full health. That was 24k for me on that one door, throwing one grenade in these rooms. That one was 14k. That was a little low. I mean, they usually a little higher than that many times. Just depends. And this one should be a decent one. Twenty-seven k. A little lower than I've seen it. I've seen that room actually a lot higher, but still twenty-seven thousand experience. One grenade. The Cremator. It's a good weapon. I enjoy using it. The reason I like what using was it is that it doesn't actually require a whole lot of... It doesn't really require a lot of perk cards. Because it is an explosive, heavy cards don't really apply to it very, very well. Yep. Yep. I had to pop a berry. berry, berry. So I, I rolled yeah, a bloody I rolled a bloodied uh with like weight reduction. So I have one that I that I typically will pull out from time to time that's like a pound. I really like playing with that. That gun a lot. It's fun. Yeah. 
what card was what what card was um was Cowboy putting in to give us more experience, you think? I'm trying to think of what else he would have been health. throwing in. Health, not experience. No, he did something that he shared. He said, I can share this, it'll give us more experience. And I was yeah, like, he meant health. Did he? Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, flags can stack. They, there's different benefits, but there's only one flag that really gives you something that you're after, and that's the revive, the ability to revive once every five minutes. Yeah, I'm about to pop one. I was just seeing if I could find a card that even boost our experience higher. Something else you can try to get another 5% is pop Nuka Twist. Because a Nuka Twist will give you a random buff for a period of time. Yeah, I don't have many of those. So let's see what we get. Let's see what we... Let's pop, pop one, see what we get. I am going to pop one of these though for both of us. What do we see? What do we see? What do we see? Effects. We got two int for 10 minutes. Let's go. That's like the best bottle possible. All right. No. Nice. I just threw, so I need to pop it over to, to Jeremiah. Let's make these 10 minutes count, dude. Should put me at 73. Yep, 73 int. some kick twenty five K Yeah I got almost fourteen almost eighteen 10. something before I leveled me so I don't know the total amount. I got nine 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 five so it should be around eighteen Okay, oh, you're right, it was about 18, and that leveled me, so we'll see what I got when we get out. Oh, man. Going up a level every, what? Every two? 30 seconds? Every two 30, 30, 40 seconds or something? It's so stupid. No, I'm going, up, I'm going up use at least a level and a half each time we run. Well, you're, you're not getting as much because the... I wish you could limit your team size and then change it. You know what I mean? Like, I only want two people, even though it's public. That'd be cool. Yeah, if it becomes an issue, we can always run on a private server. Yeah. Stupid dog made me change my stupid... Three nukas in one fridge, Brad. That was a good fridge. That was a good grenade, almost 28,000. Nice. 17,000. Yeah, 8,400 on, though. I'm not getting... Something I'm not getting. I'm trying to figure out what else I would have missed. Oh, let me out. You know what? I'm just going to pop a fresh lit. 32,000. Live live. Just in case. Uh, so, um, there's a lot of things that offset the, uh, there's a lot of things you can give to yourself that can bring you levels of tankiness, and I'll show that to you in just a moment. Um, yeah, you, you definitely want to try to minimize the amount of times you're being hit, uh, but it's not as concerning as you think once you get to a certain point and you have the correct cards in place. 
So uh, when Jeremiah gets in here and we load, I'm going to go to the center and I'll show you what I mean by that. So base, 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 uh, the base thing you want to look at is looking at your, your armor to start with. You want a good set. You want a, you want a decent set. Uh, most people go for secret service, unyielding secret service, and, and that's honestly the way to go. Um, and I have a set. I'm not running with that set right now simply because, um, I have plus int, plus one int, um, on all of my armor pieces and I'm using scout. Uh, but if you look at the the first card you want to look at is Nerd Rage, okay? Um, Nerd Rage gives you a benefit at being at 20% health or less. It gives you 40, 40 damage resist, 20% damage, and 15% AP regen. So that in itself is just a huge card for you. Then you look over, you can look over here in your luck category, and you can mitigate... You can mitigate things. Well, 42. Holy crap. You can mitigate second things door. with your luck as well. Uh, so you can run things like Ricochet. Um, um, you can run... Um, 37. Oh my god, that was a I, huge I, I'm run. I'm trying to explain and run. It's kind of hard. But but basically, you're, you're going to align your cards in a certain way that's going to give you an added... It's gonna make you tankier. So I use do dodgies in there. Yeah, I dodgies mean, big, uh, blockers big. Um, those things are are those things, those things kind of supplement your low health, kind of counterbalance it. So I can get hit quite a bit actually. I get hit a lot. If you watch, mm -hmm. if you watch things, I'm actually getting hit quite a quite a bit. I'm not trying to dodge it at all. Um. I actually want to be hit. Given, you know, getting hit, it's going to pop certain cards that I want to, to, to proxy. Yeah, as you level, as you level, you, um, you're able to, able to you know, invest in cards that allow you to yeah. become just a freaking tank. Well, and Dodgy, Dodgy uses AP when it dodges, so... When you're running cards that are in running, like say Company T to refresh, there's all a lot of stuff like you saying, like you're saying too, that sort of ends up offsetting because you're running these other cards that are like, you know, your AP is coming back constantly, and you're using a skill that basically uses AP to dodge hits, right? I mean, it does. It works really good together. I'm running Civil Engineer. I don't know what the what is the um, armor you're running. What's your armor scout, come out to be? Armor. No, I mean, what does what your number come out to be? Oh, it's like 500, a little under 500. Yeah, yours is yours is better than mine. With, Mine's like 345. With, with my secret service, I can hit almost 600. Yeah, I need to I need to finish rolling my secret service set. I need to get that rolled. That number isn't really all that relevant. Um. Because I can see people, sur you know, having a high degree of survivability with like 300. I'll look. I think. Uh, let's see. I'm around 350. Yeah, I'm, I, I, you don't really see me go down unless they get a lucky hit on me. I'm 497 right now. Yeah, yeah, you're higher than me, but you don't really see me go down a lot unless they, unless I'm really low already, like really low. I didn't pay attention, and they just like a dog. Usually, it's usually a melee, like a dog, it just gets like a lucky hit. I bites die me, a lot. Bites me in the weenie from exploding. For my own weapon, things getting too close to me. The other right. thing that kills me a lot is my own fall damage. Those are basically the only things that really kill me. You stupid dog. I can, uh, ah. I have a discord and so does Froggy and we're, we're happy to share those discords and share our builds so you guys can see. What yeah, I need to build a fallout channel and put more of this data in there too, for sure.
It's he my my build's heavily influenced by uh, people that I've watched that were successful in their runs, but mine also has my own individual twist to it. Mm. Like a lot of people like uh, Tank Killer. I don't I don't particularly run Tank Killer. Yeah, um, I do, don't I? Yeah, I run Tank Killer. I don't always run Tank Killer. Um, I'm running it right now. Now that I understand, I understand how things work a little bit better, how things actually end up playing off each other in, in the actual environment. Um, I can see myself doing my own customizations and getting into some other stuff. It's and, basically and playing like it. a giant game of chess. You're, you find the piece and then you're like, how does this piece get complimented? Mm -hmm. Or this piece is being canceled out by this. What do I what do I take to counteract that? As minimal make it as minimal of an impact as possible. Because I want the good of the card without the negative. Sorry, didn't realize you're backing up to Yeah, I had to. Otherwise I'd blown up. I don't I seem to get a lot closer to them, Brad. Why don't I seem to take as much of that explosive damage as you do? Probably because you have a Vesta lining and I don't. Ah. That's the difference, huh? It's huge. Honestly, I'm probably going to run probably, that on my... I should probably put a Vesta lining on. That was almost 50k. Yeah, I got twenty, almost 22, 23,000 XP. That was pretty wild. It was huge. <laughs> <laughs> it was the biggest. Some say. I don't say. Others tell me. It was the best. Many people have said it. Gotta stick that lip out there when you do it. I get self-conscious when I'm live doing impressions. I think I can kind of hold back a little bit. I used to do them. I, that's all I used to do as a kid, by the way. I did it so many different voice impressions. Brad. My cousins would put me up to it every time they came to visit. Like, do Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> do, do Ren and Stimpy. Oh my god. My that Ren and is Stimpy. something that should have never been on TV, you know, really. Oh god, I love Red Instant Bay. They're great. They're the best. They're but, oh my god. Man, or I have affection for Red Instant Bay. They were not good. <laughs> Cartoons, oh I got boners. It was crazy. Jeez. They did. I'm not making this crap you, up. Well, you know, you know his background, right? The guy who created Red Instant Bay. No. You didn't know about, uh, you didn't know the story of the guy who did Red Stimpy? He worked, he worked, uh, he, he, he worked for, uh, Looney Tunes and, like, I can't remember what else, but for, like, years. And, um, they were always, like, real close to being edgy, but never really there, and it always drove him nuts that he was like, I want to, you know, I want to draw this in. Yeah, so when he got the chance to do Ren and Stimpy, and they gave him the chance, this guy did all of it himself. He's, he was working. He was doing the art, the voices. He worked around the clock, Brad. That guy, Ren and Stimpy is a gift of love from a guy who literally turned into a workaholic because they finally said to him, we're going to let you do your dream project. Jeremiah, you just went. Shit. Sorry. I don't know why. They just the, the, the runs start to run together and I don't even remember if I threw grenades or if I was standing there two minutes two seconds ago. You know what I mean? Killing these smells. There's, there's such a pattern. It's such a just a repetitive pattern. Yeah, I'm I'll almost take out. This time to get a new berry mint stat. Mint stat. Sorry. Yeah, your mint stats? I'm never gonna let him let let him live that down. AJ, you shouldn't. Nah, dude, it was awesome. I really wish that 
you know, what Gandalf said earlier, I really do wish they would make it to where when you die, you come back at the previous rads you were. Your rads don't change. I thought that was the whole point of rads. You're supposed to be radicated to the level that... Get off of me. Both of you. <laughs> die. I can't vat because I can't vat because it's stupid wire. Yeah. I don't find a lot of twists, Brad. They're rare for me. Uh, I get them from my 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 uh my boss Robot. occasionally. I think my daily today had me drink two of them. I was kind of irritated by it. Yeah, mine did too. And I only had three in my entire um, inventory, which I don't ever remember selling any, so it kind of blew my mind. I was like, wait, I've only ever collected three of these ever? Or... So I was kind of thinking, I should have re-rolled that. Are you out? There you are. I think at the top of the next hour, I might wait till like 10.08 or something and pop over there and see if I can get lucky on one Fosh Knot. I haven't done one oh. today. I'm not going to be gone long enough for it to impact our runs. Yeah. Well, if you go over there, I'll go with you. Oh my god! Oh, how am I not dead? So, I'm officially a heaven, uh, 100 levels higher than when I started yesterday's stream. We gained, gained 100 levels in one day. Um. And that's saying a lot because we didn't even do the entire day. Mm -mm. No, I didn't. I got on a little later this morning. I was I was kind of tired this morning. I'm definitely oh, sleeping. In 50k. Hey, there 50k you go. on that. I'm definitely sleeping in. Yeah, and there's kind of a trick to it, Pocket. It's the grenades we're using. That's how it's able to clear the whole room, and it's kind of our kit that we're running. That's what Brad was kind of explaining a moment ago. Some of the details of how we're able to make. How we're able to clear that that much that many enemies that quickly, you're, and since uh, the buffs, you're very close to death. I know I'm. And then I'm gonna do this, and then boom. Go ahead and go in when you want. I'm gonna. If I hit the door, it'll stop my. Yep, rads. I'm going any higher. Or my health from going any higher and losing rads. Little trick I've learned for. You pop. I pop my rad away and then hit my stim. And then use the door to stop it where I want it. So Despicable Me 4 was pretty, it was, it was a pretty fun movie. Pretty fun oh movie. yeah, I imagined it would be. It's a, it's a good character list, the Gru and the, and the girls. They did a good job with it. If you like the previous ones, you'll like this one. Yeah. I, you know, and, and remember I was explaining to you last night, Pocket, that, you know, you're going to, you know, I don't mind throwing you some stuff for buffs, but we're basically trying to get your int all the way up as high as we can and your experience buffs. And you see, just like me, my int is pretty high, but, like, I'm getting half of the experience he's getting by throwing, and then we switch. I really do appreciate and the Prime sub there. That means a lot. Thank you for the support. Enjoy your bacon pancakes. Did you get those sound alerts working again? I did. Nice. Nice. I always love the bacon pancakes one. How can you not love Finn? He's the best. Adventure time. Making bacon pancakes. Thing in my love. But I really do appreciate Swallow. it. You guys can use it on whoever you please, you know, whoever you want to. So it means a lot when you use a prime sub on me. 
Yeah, we got a spot open, Pocket, so when you want to get over here, I already told Bad you're talking about coming to run with us and get some, get you leveled up, man. Yo, Acid, appreciate you, my guy. Much love, buddy. Hey, uh, spot's open for you as well. I told Jeremiah that you were wanting to run with us. Thank you very much, Acid. It means a lot. There we go. Another level in the books. There's also kind of a preciseness to where we're throwing the grenade pocket, what grenades we're using, and you'll notice that I take my... It looks like I take my weapon off. I'm not actually taking my weapon off. I'm switching to a um, knuckle. That Actually, if you look at my right hand, there's actually brass knuckles there that has a special thing on it called instigating. And so it's mouse maximizing the damage to anything with full health, which is why we're doing it this way. And there's some other cards that are working with this as well. There's It's, it's a whole build. You good if I, um, are you good to like give me a link to give to someone so they can join your Discord? Yeah, yeah, just invite them. Yeah, yeah, friend of yours, bring them in. Is this somebody you've known? Yeah, this like is known for a while. I've known a while. He's no. he's good. He's good people. He's okay. No, I mean like yeah, if you've known him for a while though, I'm just asking because I'll immediately promote him to Big Frog too, so he doesn't have to go to the waiting room. Or if he gets kicked, he can just come back in. Asta, did you change your name on Discord? <laughs> I can't see I can't see their names because Discord's in a streamer mode. How do I undo that? You've turned it into a whole science. Not me, honestly. I mean, we're we're copying what what um, Brad kind of watched from Mr. West Tech, and Brad really did the research on this. Um, I just kind of followed along, but I get it now that I'm using it. You know what I mean? Because I can see the difference in some other things too, like running some of these explosive cards. If you have a weapon that's explosives, like, you know, your explosives dead with twice the radius, and then Demolition Expert level 5 is in here. So that's also benefiting my gun, not just my uh, explosives. Is it, is it your turn? Yeah, yeah it is. I invited yep. you, Acid, if you want to join that Discord and then go into the waiting room, Froggy can pull you up. Yeah, and then I'll promote you once you're in here, cause so you don't have to do that next time, Acid. Just let me know when he's gotten in there, because it, the waiting room is kind of blocked for my he's vision. He can, oh, he is. Yeah, he's in there now. Oh, okay. Yeah, cause I have to like tab over, reduce his oh, volume, man, and then eviction notices up. Okay. Said you want to get eviction notices when they come up. I do. I absolutely do. You know, I want to get blessed. What's up, buddy? Hey, buddy. Good to see you. I'm glad you're able to get on. Yeah, I had some stuff to do beforehand, so. Froggy meet Acid. Acid meet Froggy. Welcome in, bud. What's up, Froggy? How you doing? We talked some last night in your channel. Okay. Yeah, I remember you coming in. I followed yeah, you. Yeah. Yeah. You, know? yeah. you ever go live again, man? I'll be, you know, I'll come check you out. Any friend of Brad's, friend of mine, man. I've known, I've, I've known Acid a long time. A long time. Just a, f just a couple of years? Yeah, let's get to that eviction notice because people are going to be popping lunchboxes on the weekend the sooner we get uh, there. Do y'all have any extra spikes? I can get yeah. Spikes. Yeah, we probably just do. Just go yeah. ahead and head over. Um, are you in our group? Uh, let me join you. I'm gonna have to change worlds, and then I'll, uh, I'll TP to you. Actually, you get, bring up a really good point. I need to grab spikes out of his ammo. Because Eviction Notice is gonna take him. Mm -hmm. So I need to grab even, like, probably some extras. I have my tent. Oh, uh, yeah, I saw my tent over here at Eviction Notice from earlier. So I'll just, yeah. I'll just make some, and then I can drop you half of what I make when you get here. Mostly because now I'm getting low on steel, and I didn't want to. You're fine. I got you. I crafted a bunch before I knew we were going to do this with my card stack for ammo. Of course. Not a ton, though. Like, honestly, the only reason I have so much steel is because I think Brad threw me a bunch. 
We're at eviction notice. Yeah, I'm TPing over now. Uh, might be a little bit oh, different my nose if we don't have someone join with some power armor that can do the fixing of the rod oh. scrubber. I have my power armor on me. Should I just go down there and just focus on that? With us being the only ones here, it's probably it's probably going to be needed. I don't. I've never done anything down there. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. You though. just I'll be you honest. literally whenever it breaks, you literally just click a button and hold it. Is it on the machine or is yeah, it it's on that machine, machine itself? That looks like a generator down there. All right. It's gonna screw up my build being armor. I can tell you that much, but whatever. Oh, you don't have to go into it right now. We just have to pay attention to it. In fact, we can oh, okay. play. We can play. We can play uh, real defensively here and just come in. Come in. I'm close. right here behind you, Brad. Yeah, uh, drop that to you. Are we on a quiet server? I'm just surprised most people show up to this, you know? We did get here pretty start, quick. Start though. with that, and I'll give you more here in a minute. 700, okay, yeah. 700 will help you get through this easily. Oh, yeah, easily. Pocket Death, man. I appreciate the follow. Welcome to the channel. Yeah, that's that's my buddy I was talking to last night, by the way. Is this Told the one about. that you th thought might run with us? Yeah, that's Pocket Death. He's from Sweet. Australia. Sweet. Yeah, it's a pain in the butt. He's a he's a cool dude, and he streams as well. All right, over on that Australian time. Just remind just remind me, and I'll give you give him a follow. Uh we got Chip the Ripper showed up here. He's in power armor. I think he's heading down. Yeah, I'm just gonna stay on this side. Keep kind of close. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna try to stay over here. We still have one meat bag that we need to find too. Uh, I killed two of them. Time to... mm. You know, the very Mentats kind of help on this, just because you can see when they show up, because they're all glowing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, well, I said we're going to get you up to, uh, up past 150, 200, probably. Uh, not... I'll need to visit my box and drop him some food, drop him some bobbleheads, some magazines. Do you have unyielding armor yet? Me? Yeah, that's going to be helpful. Uh, I might. I've got a whole bunch of stuff back to the house. But I might have to... Uh... I've got a couple pieces up for sale, Brad, so if he needs them, I'll pull them out of my shop and give them to him. I'm not right. Don't worry, off pocket. You just let us know. Else. You just let us know. All right. Yeah, let us know if you're joining us. I might have to pull off one of y'all's stashes because I came in and my camp was taken by somebody else. Oh, that sucks. I really do appreciate the follow. Thanks, Jeremiah. Did you for, uh, uh, send him my way? Get to read what I put in your Discord, bro. Well, you're in my stream title, so anybody coming through is going to see who right. I'm playing with. Yeah, you're in mine as well. I didn't see it yet. I, I was out having a late dinner, or, yeah, an early dinner and a movie with some family. I rushed home to get on. So I didn't get to read all of it. Basically, the railway rifle is going to be getting a nerf. That's hmm. I, see, I bet it'll still a good roll will still be freaking ridiculous. I mean, but this is the, uh, one thing that they are gonna be putting in is hmm. you know how once we roll, uh, we're kind of stuck with those those rolls. Well, what they're gonna be implementing is a. Basically, a new crafting system. Hmm? I'm not a one trick pony. I have other weapons I can use. What's going to be the. How do you. I, I don't know what you mean. What, what you roll, you re roll. What are you talking about? You can re roll a piece of gear. Are you saying, like, that you're going to make it to where you can re roll, like, the second star and then re, re roll the third star independently of each other? Yeah. 
Now well, that's that, that's gonna be that's gonna that's gonna shake up things a lot. So basically, from what I understood, from what I read, is that Shit. uh, I got they're trying to find new things to do with the legendary uh, modules. And they're gonna be implementing uh, what they're calling like some kind of dust, and it's gonna be uh, you won't have to just go off of what you find. I'll, I'll have to send it to you, Jeremiah as well. Okay. Scully, welcome in. Au, good to see you, Scully. I get it in here on this double XP while you can, Scully. <laughs> I'm gonna harass him every time, you know that. Yeah. Truthfully, you know, I, I, I don't like to hear that they're going to nerf the railgun, but... Um, it, well, it's it, it, kind it, of a nerf, but it's also kind of a buff. I'll have to read it to, to see what you're yeah. referring to. West Tech made a video. I, I put that in there as well. He didn't go over everything, but he linked the, the main... Uh, well, on the on it. the on the plus side, Brad, I heard they're gonna connect their uh, their gaming system as far as like XP gains. They're gonna hook their entire server up to a Texas Instrument calculator, so it'll finally do correct <laughs> now. They buy a so the They buy, buy themselves a TI eighty four plus. <laughs> TI eighty four plus, so that they quit getting wrong numbers. Do we even trust that that if they do try to do a nerf or a a debuff that the math will even work out in their favor. Hey, look, they did they did make the cremator different, but that yeah. weapon still absolutely destroys even after their nerf. Uh, a lot of the flamer stuff is getting changed too, because uh, it's got something to do with. <clears throat> how the poison and the fire uh, dots are affecting everything right now. That they're gonna adjust not only our weapons, yeah, but uh, but also opponents' weapons as well. Yeah, they better be careful. Melody, thank you. Great to see ya. Hope you're doing well. I left my house two days in a row. <laughs> I don't recommend it's a spooky place out there. Yeah, the world? Jeez, <laughs> what were you thinking? You better have your, you have your at least your will Ow. and testament, uh, you know, all in order and living, living will and testament. Are you on your way home? Or are you on your way to somewhere else? Oh, that's real good. I have a fire starter right in my face, so I have to spawn back in. You left, you left Arkansas today? Oh, you're on your way to Daytona. Why does my nose keep itching? Gosh, it's like terrible. You get this itch like right in my nose. You got one above you, Acid. I think that's you. You're on the backside of this thing. There he is. He's trying to come down this hill. Is there like an article on it or is there a video I have to watch? What on the changes? Yeah. Now uh, we need the Rad Scrubber fix. West Tech made a video and he links the main article. Someone's as well. on there. So, someone's did someone on fix it? it? Or do sure I have to go into my Make sure he's on it. I can't get close to it. 
Looks like you fixed it. Yeah, somebody saw it out there. Mr. Fox gave his life. Foundations is vengeance. There we go. Right, I'm gonna sell this script real quick and I'll be back at West Tech. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna do a loot all scrap. I'll do the same thing. Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. If anything, just get my railway spikes back. I hope you have a great time. How much did that bring there's... overweight? Seven Lots pounds. of super sludges. Always. In boards, I mean, it's just the... <laughs> we have the heaviest super shit. Sled, boards, <laughs> yeah, it's... They always have the heaviest shit. Uh, I picked up more stuff and somehow I uh, am not over encumbered anymore. That's kind of strange. Oh my god, I can't even move. I can't even run. Shit, I what is my much what is my way? Over encumbered. Thirteen hundred pounds. Jeez, I've never gotten that high on purpose. I didn't even know you could get that high to be honest. All right, there's that. My PC look, actually look, runs look it this, without look crashing. Crap. Look at this crap. 84 b is very playable. This That's is, cool. Look at this crap. This is why I like uh, carry weight reduction for weapons. Look how many weapons I wondered I about you and Elden Ring. I'm going to need to get on somebody's <laughs> camp real crazy, quick and right? adjust my build. Because I've got a really bad build going on right now. I'll just bash up the Brad's camp real quick. The number of miniguns, that's what it is. Yeah, the miniguns. You, you have an instigating weapon? We'll get you every no. time. Me? Yeah, I've got a couple. Alright, I've got... I've got a, um... Instigating I say bolt it was. blade if someone wants it before I scrap it. In fact... Someone wants to come over here. I'm at, I'm at my daily my daily daily limit for uh, script, uh, and I still have like seven weapons on me. Yeah, I'll be heading there, <laughs> unless he needs them too. It doesn't matter either. I'm at your camp right now. If he wants to take them, that's fine because I'm gonna roll some secret service later, anyways. So either way, I know I'm gonna I'm gonna. That's one thing up. I'm also trying to get is the better armor. Jeez, super and sledges. The freaking jetpacks. Alright, let me head over to you, Brad. I need your you left your camp here, right, bro? Yeah. Cool. I still I still need oh, your someone camp. Launched a nuke. Where did they launch it? it looks like Probably it either oh, at Earl or Earl. Site Alpha. Attention, citizens. I don't have any any desire to do that. Was it Earl? I have no desire to do Earl right now. No, I haven't. Yeah, I agree with that. I'm gonna wait till you get here and I'll drop you. I got a bunch of three stars you can script. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that food out for you too. Wait a minute. After all that, I'm still 347 pounds. Yeah, let me what pull the up hell did... the, uh, the article, and I'll uh, tell you what was said. Here you go. There's a, there's, there's, there's Man. at least two, there's at least two. Sorry to mess with my nose, my nose just keeps itching. Right. Which is weird. God, I'm still overweight? It's the getting, um, okay. There's something different about my build now. My excavator armor no longer, um, Brad, gets me, um, it hmm. loses. Vampire short flamer. Yeah. No, you can keep whatever's there. I mean, if you don't want to strip it, you want to play with it, you're more than welcome to. If it's not going to, if it's not going to benefit me, I guess I'm going to put my excavator armor away. Uh, let's see. Put the grenades. Oh, yeah. no, my stash box is full. Vampire short, two shot minigun, tone death. 
Oh, I'm already at limit. I have max caps. Crap. Shit, I wish I had max caps. <laughs> Your boy stays broke. Uh, Want me to hold on to some of those for you, Brad? Yes. <laughs> no, I could hold it. I'll hold 10,000 for you. I bet you would. Keep foundations vengeance, just because I know how good that is. I'll even hold your hand and look you in the eye when you give them to me. You're a real pal. You're a real pal, Jeremiah. You're a real pal. I know. I thank you. I appreciate you see that. Bloody out. Gatling Plasma, but level one. Should I even keep that or just get rid of it? Nah, get rid of one it. star. Yeah. Are you still here, Acid? Yeah, I'm still here at the the trader. All right, here is. I'm just yeah. gonna drop you what you're gonna need right here. Drop you. We'll start with two relish, two brain bombs. Uh, hopefully, this person isn't coming by and sniping this stuff that I'm dropping. He, he left. It's just us two right now. Drop you some berry mentats. Drop you some leaders. Drop you some live loves. Are you carnivore or herbivore? It doesn't matter. I'm, I'm kind of just taking I need, whatever. I, I need to know because if you're taking those food items and you're a carnivore, it's not going to give you any kind of benefit. Uh, how would I even know? You go to your mutation. You go over stats. Go over to effects. Go down. Yeah. Go down to. Uh, go down to your. Go down to your. Um, There's something that's stuck in my nose. It's just mutations, and it'll tell you if you're a herbivore or if you're a um, carnivore. I got nothing. I've All got right. casual team bonus, civil engineer armor, double XP. Magnetic personality, blackberry juice, meat juice. All right, take this. Take this as well. Go ahead and drink it. Okay. Don't use rads. If you don't have, uh, hopefully you're, hopefully you've, uh, put on star jeans. You know what that is? Level two. What's oh. up, Thomas? How you doing, buddy? I've got a build with it on, but I haven't been running it. Yeah, I would put would, it on. That's like a mandatory perk to have. That never comes off, basically. Okay, uh, let me see. You should have the um, points to grab them, right? Even if I'm you're gonna take something off, what, what are you running over in luck right now? Like. One sec, I'm gonna get another starch jeans from my card packs I gotta open, and then I'll uh, upgrade that to level two. Where'd you post that at, by the way? Oh, it's in your your I 76. Yeah. Starch jeans. All right, so it says, we've been exploring a new approach to the legendary crafting, and we wanted to give you an opportunity to get your hands on it to provide some early feedback. Our intention with the changes mentioned below is to give you a way to have more direct control over the legendary mods that are on your legendary items. We believe this system will require time and iteration to get it right, so we're providing this to you to test now. But it won't be released to the live game until we believe it's ready. So it's going into the PTS. PTS. We're, we're, we're still evaluating how we want to manage legendary cores moving forward. Before swapping legendary mods on your items, you'll need to obtain the desired mod in one of two ways. Trading for the, lead, for the mod with another player or scrapping legendary items with your desired mod on it. 
Every time you scrap a legendary item, you will obtain legendary particles, as well as a chance to learn one of the legendary mods on that item. After obtaining a mod plan from that item, you can head over to your tinkers bench to craft it by spending legendary particles. Interesting. What up, store? Welcome in, brother. Thomas, welcome in as well. Yeah, uh, if I gotta reset another uh, loadout to fit what is needed, I can definitely do that. I've got extra uh, slots. So yeah. Just tell me what I need to put on and. Well, Starch Jeans is important because he's going to give you serums that are going to mutate you, and you don't want to take a rat away or something up, yeah. and get rid of them. Yeah. So I, I, that's a card I almost just, anytime I'm doing stuff, I just make sure it never comes off because there's just too much of a chance of me losing my serums and my mutations. Yeah. All right, let me get another. What's going on here? So, yeah, I've got uh, a fresh loadout. So. Just tell me what I need to put points in and what cards. Take these. All right. On my, uh, on my screen, I don't know how many cards you have to play with, but I'm going to go through the ones I feel like you, if you're running this, you that are kind of non-negotiable. Okay. Okay. Uh, so we're going to start uh, in the middle. We're going to start with charisma since you're just trying to gain charisma since you're just trying to gain X xp you need you need at least four points to be able to slot three in inspirational and one in strange in numbers okay so charisma four at least four okay and for inspirational and for strange in numbers, okay? Okay. For endurance, I want you to have at least five points. Endurance at least five, charisma at least four, okay. I want you to have life giver and radical. Uh, uh, this is a completely fresh build, so you tell me what points and how many to, pu uh, to pull, and then... Okay, and over put, here in, uh, cards in over in strength, I want you to grab bandolier. Oh, I've got that. Yeah. I want you to grab ordnance express. I want you to grab okay. blocker. I want you to grab barbarian, and then it's your it's your it's your it's your choice whether you want traveling pharmacy or not. But the others I feel are completely necessary. Since you're going to be running with the railway in perception, you need to max it out. You need 15 points of perception. Okay, so 15 in perception, 5 endurance. How many in strength? Let's start you with 11. Okay. So I've got 18 points to play with. 18 points to play with? Yeah. All right. Um, that's that's kind of rough, but we'll make do. Um, you're just going to be a As sponge. We stand you're just right going to be a sponge for XP right now. So go ahead and put 15 points in intelligence. He might not have to, Brad. Um, how many legendaries can he slot? Two. Yeah, he's he's still going to have he, to sponge. He's still going to have to sponge uh, XP to get some some levels to be able to invest them um, into those cards to get them leveled up. Yeah, but you so can at least slot two cards. That, 15 intelligence, get... one agility is, leave the one agility there, put the rest in luck. Okay, so I've got 11 in strength, 15 in perception, 5 endurance, 4 charisma, 15 intelligence, 1 in agility, and 5 in luck. Excellent. For luck, right. starch jeans needs to be the card you put on and the other yeah. card i would recommend for now would be bloody mess okay under intelligence you want max demolition expert you want max nerd rage 
and you want max batteries included. Everything else is your discretion. Okay. For perception, you want all the commando perks. So you want master, you want commando, expert. You're also going to want concentrated fire. You're going to want grenadier. Fire in a hole is optional, but I highly recommend it. It makes it a lot easier to see what you're doing while you're doing this. Is he 15 um, points though, Brad? Yeah, I told him put 15 in perception. Okay, well, just just remind that one of those commandos needs to be a two car, two star, in order for him to get commando, fired in the hole. But the base, the they base are. commando needs to be two. So yeah, do a two star two. on that. Three on two. the other two. Okay. And then tank killer. Okay. We want to build. Eventually, we want to build your agility and luck. So for your legendary perk cards. Make sure you select Agility and Luck as yep, two they are. selections. And we're going to rank those up. And you're going to get five points total from both of those cards when they're fully maxed. Okay. So that's going to give you... Um, it should give you six or seven for Agility. And it's going to give you about that for Luck. We'll be able right. to pull some from Intelligence later. Um, but that's where we need to start. Basically, we're just going to follow us and soak XP. We need to get you as many uh, levels as possible. All right, I'm just uh, putting gonna, some more in. Yeah, we're not going to actually have you throw right now. Just kind of run with us. Um, and you'll, you're going to, you know, you're going to get 40, 50 levels in, in, in a matter of no time. It's going to be nasty. Still 85 degrees out at 8.40, I believe, in yeah. hottest balls here. Starting electrical, rough and tough. I know, it's so easy. Morning. Can't wait to get this kitchen. Okay, one hair. Let's be like one hair in there that's just like driving my nose nuts or something. Okay, so let's put that back in there. Let's put that back in there. Um, Concentrated fire is level three. No. I don't have the the one perk. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> the, the focus, the fo focus on making sure that you have inspirational. The rest, the rest of the cards really don't matter right now, as you're just going to be coming along for the ride to get levels. But basically, we're just trying to unlock more points for you. That's yeah. our goal right now. Alright, so we're gonna do that. And then. And as soon as you're done with that, um, come over to the base, get all these, all these buffs, and then we'll tell you how to set up your consumables so that you're getting what you need from your consumables. Yep. I'm not going to set them up, but don't have them pop yet. I'm just doing a little bit of a sugar food run real fast near my base, Brad. My potato salads are all about to expire. I'm just grabbing some, just a little bit of sugar and some potatoes, so I'll be there in a moment. Anything in suppress? Uh, anything in uh, charisma that I need to bring in? Charisma, you must run level three inspirational. And level one, Strange in Numbers. Okay. Strange in Numbers. You get the most buff. Uh, friendly Fire, Happy Camper, Injector. Looks like there's some new uh, new events that are going to be test. They're going to be testing out. That's going to be cool. Yeah. That will be cool. Anything that adds that new content like that would be very good. I'll have to figure out when this public test servers are going live and give these a test. All food. PQRS. Pretty good.
Potato salads. Okay, I don't like this. When you swap a legendary mod onto an item, that item it's character becomes locked, character no. bound, which makes it untradeable and not droppable in the world. Each time you replace the mod on an item, the cost will increase. Yeah, I saw that. As a result of this update, we're also relaxing the legendary mod restrictions on weapons. We're excited to see you explore the system and find new, exciting mod combinations. Wait, so they're killing the they're killing the market for selling legendaries then? They're gonna be yeah. It's gonna be it's gonna be yeah. It's gonna kill. It's gonna kill. It's gonna kill my trading system for sure. So even civil engineer, you won't be able to sell those, right? Not if you put a legendary mod on it after this update goes live. Because it'll well, become, what, it'll what is it worth if you don't put a legend? It's dumb. Because it'll become uh, player bound. So they just killed the secondary market for this game, which is probably what's been keeping people playing the game. It's stupid. A lot of people. Well, the, 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 these weapons will become legacy weapons, Jeremiah. These weapons will... They, they can't just... They can't just say, well, the weapons that you have now are not usable. They're going to be highly sought after. These weapons are going to be... These weapons that we have now are going to shoot through the roof in value. They're going right. to become more valuable than ever. I don't right. know. It just uh, seems... I'm up at your base right now. You know, it just it just pisses me off yeah, because I wasn't... I'm not really at the point where I wanted to, like, grind so hard to roll. But it was one part of the game I was actually kind of excited to get into. It was more of the trading. But now you're telling me it's like, what's the point if it's going to be nerfed? It just seems stupid you got, to me. You, you, you got at least two, three months before these these changes come into effect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they're, they're not going to roll it out until it's perfected. And I see. It's just now going into the public test build. It still just seems wrong to me. It feels All like right, they're nerfing so the game. For, for, for buffs... You get your well rested for sleeping in the bed. You get five percent for using the sacred to to the sacred <sighs> Mothman tome. You get plus yep. two int for using this mechanical derby game. So you want to make sure that you interact with all of these. Those I know. When you die, can I harvest you for bone shards? So I'm wondering how you come about the legendary dust. I don't know. Is dust going to be an item that I can drop, basically give to other players? That'd be kind of weird. It's going to be putting your scraps, so. Honestly, it just really sounds like an attempt to kill the secondary market on me. Everything about it sounds like that. I mean, I know some people will love it because you can roll each slot or however it's... But everybody who, who's grinding is going to basically... They're not going to want to grind. They're not going to want to grind the stuff because, like, once you get the weapon you want, what's the point? If you, if you can't give it to other people. That's I have all the weapons. All the weapons now. That's what we're saying. I know, but once right. you get the weapons that you want to play with, then there's no there's no market. There's no reason to grind. There's no. You can still sell those weapons. That's what I'm trying to tell you, these then, weapons that we make now will still be sellable, still be tradable. They're going to be legacy correct. Items. But once that market's been flushed out, then those been sold. It won't. Their legacy items are still selling for an in, incredibly high market. Value. Sure, but when you run out of them, because you sold all of them, you won't have a market anymore in the game that you can do anything. All with. Right. I got all those uh, buffs in. I just gotta pop my my food and stuff. Am I right? You gave me. Maybe not. I don't. I don't, I don't think it's going to. I don't think they're gonna completely uh, get get away from it. We we only understand. We let's just play the public test build and find out for ourselves, so we can understand how the market works. Yeah. All right. So I need to pop marsupial. Yep. I need to pop marsupial. My Egghead. Yes. Berry. Pop a leader. Pop your food. So your brain bomb, cranberry. 
Brain bomb and cranberry on. Now pop an LL3. Live love three. Okay. Pop a leader. You Got it already. Yep. And what's that take you to? Uh, on your end. Without your having unyielding set, it's gonna be kind of hard to get your number up real high. Int is at thirty-eight. Did you guys do uh, lunch boxes yet? I have not. I would not do okay. it without you around. I'm here. I'm, I'm here. If you guys are, is this you two? No, it's yeah, this is you two. I'm just trying to figure out why. Oh, I haven't popped my live love three, so that should put me at seventy three, which it does. My int is at thirty eight right now, so mine's at sixty two. Without without unyielding all on all your or like not wearing unyielding, I can't get you high. That's as high as I can get you. Yeah. I'm gonna also pop. How many how many unyielding pieces you have? All right, that's that's four. We don't need to pop anymore. I mean, as far as armor goes, right now I'm wearing a complete uh, civil set. But not a single piece is unyielding. Uh, asbestos line, civil armor, chameleon hunters. Yeah, I've got uh, unyielding is what we want you. One to of wear. my. So you get the yeah, plus I've got three one intelligence piece. for each piece. I've got a right leg in here. It's not. It's going to screw up your civil engineer, but it doesn't matter. You're not taking damage right, anyways. Yeah, I've got a right uh, leg and piece, I've got a right arm. The only piece I've got is uh, that's unyielding. It's a left leg, so I can take those. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, you can take both those. Okay. What, what do you got? What do you have? I have a right leg for him and a right arm, and I think he said he had a something else. I've got else. a left arm. And a chest piece. Oh, I actually got a left arm. Oh, no, those are my secret service. I can't give you those. Never mind. Come over okay. here. Let's pick these up. And just go ahead and wear those. Yep. And there's two pieces here on the ground I just dropped. Okay, let's take those. Wherever they went, they're there. Okay, so we're gonna pop there you that, go. Pop that, pop that, and pop that. We're ready to go. Falling in, Brad. All right. Once we clear this room, before we exit, I want you to come over here and grab some toxic goo. All right. Uh, we just popped and Fosh night. We, we were talking about doing Fosh night before we popped it, but that's right. Just come over here and stay in the center. That's all you need to do. I'll stay right here. Uh, probably somewhere like in where I'm at. Where are you at? I'm right above you. Don't stand up there. Stand on the ground. I wasn't getting experience when I was up by. It's something to do with the height of, like, I don't know. It was weird. Right. Yeah, stand like right about there. You can kind of follow him. Just make sure you're kind of on the inside of the doorway so when he runs through, he just doesn't run yeah. into you. That's all. Make sure he has a path to run by you is all. But you do kind of want to actually follow him around a little bit, but just make sure you kind of stand where his pathway he can run. Yeah. So like right here is a good spot when he gets to this door. Just kind of chill here and then... Because we won't take the damage from the grenade. He will. And he just yeah. needs to run away from it after he throws it. All right, the three grenades have been thrown, so come follow me. Following. Collect, collect, uh, collect several of these toxic goose. All right. Okay. Now we're gonna exit. I'm gonna pass it to Froggy, and then whenever you come in for the next go, drink enough to get your health. Kind of where mine is. Does he have nerd rage slotted? I uh, didn't have him slotted at the time because he was I still full health. Be I believe I put it on. So if you if you're Before gonna get go away, I can I can go to Brad's. Uh, it really doesn't part. matter. I was gonna say he can go to you can go to a smelter. He, he can go to a smelter. Experience, so it doesn't really. Oh, matter. gotcha. Okay, gotcha. 
and I can't promote you at this time for some reason. So let's see if it has to do with this Zim. You person. have to. Yep, you have to uh, block Zim. Block for this session is what I've been doing. And then bam, look. Promote you. That's the trick. <laughs> we figured it out. It was just block that person, and then it kicks them. And then they don't re keep rejoining either, which is annoying. Which I don't know why they always rejoin after they get kicked and blocked. Okay, you can go ahead and drink some of that toxic goo now. Okay. Wait. Oh, shit. I was doing something. Oh, shit. Nerd Rage is on, yeah. Excellent. Give me one second. I dropped something. I didn't. I forgot to change my cards. Good assault. Better criticals. Bloody mess. Uh, much better. Uh, sorry, I was making food. Completely forgot I'd made food. Come on. There we go. Alright, so now how many intelligent points are you getting? 47. That's a lot better. If they do come out of the room like that, we we, we want to go ahead and make sure they die just so they don't mess with his run when he comes through. Yeah. How much experience did you get for that grenade? Like 9,000 almost. Yeah. There you go. So yeah, now you're going to yeah. start getting real experience and your levels are going to come real quick. You've already gained one that I can tell so far. Two, actually. Yeah, you're gonna be cruising, bro. That was a 34,000 for me. Nice. That one grenade was 11,000. Yep. That sounds about right. Ugh. Boy, this double XP, you're just gonna be cruising on this double XP. Yeah. When we originally were leveling me, man, it was one times, and I, you know, you're getting 11, I was getting five. So it just, it's just so good. Brad Jones, boom. I have no idea why I have the itchiest nose tonight, Brad, and I hate it because I know I keep touching my nose. There's like a errant hair or something up there that's just tickling it and driving me nuts. I have a food so, allergy that does that to me. Crazy. So to kind of explain this, acid, the one person's running, they're killing all this stuff while having adrenaline and an instigating weapon as their alternate. They're building up that adrenaline to maximize the amount of damage output whenever they go to use that instigating weapon and throwing that first grenade. So that's the reason oh, okay. that they're killing. You want to get kills to build that adrenaline, because that adrenaline is a, 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 vital, a vital piece to the, to the whole process. Yeah. That was good. I I don't know what I got. I leveled. I leveled two, but I was at twenty two at half. So you're set to be good if I get in twenty two. You had to be at least above forty. Hmm. He got it. He's already another level. This is comical. <laughs> yeah, this is four levels now. Yeah. Four it's... levels in less than five minutes. <laughs> it's comical. Yeah, and by by the point when you start hitting up into like two to three hundred, you'll be able to slot some nice cards in and have and be able to kind of maximize out of that build a lot better, you know? Put some other stuff in there that really benefits you. Why is he vatting him from across the... What the hell just happened? I don't know, Sorry, you got this instinct. weird slide going on. <laughs> yeah, you're floating on air. Freaking Peter Pan over here. <laughs> Watch him when he comes through. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He's 
<laughs> you'd, need, you'd fly, to, you'd fly need, too if somebody hit your Peter with a pan. <laughs> well, we need an exorcist up in here. <laughs> Freaking levitating. It drives me nuts. It was a good experience, but my very men had just wore off when I threw that. Six levels. I am the leader. But I agree with what you were saying earlier, Froggy. I do think that they're really out of touch with what their player, but what's keeping their player base around. Right. I mean, they have a whole Discord devoted to like the trading, and I mean, you know, people are grinding like all week to get legendary cores just to see if they can get a roll on something that gets them, you know, like you said. 10,000, 20,000 LL3s, and you know what I mean? This is what, there's a whole group that are playing that way, and they're, and they're trying, I think they're trying to butcher that, and it's, I don't think that's smart. It's good. It, from what I read, it, it, there, there are some things I do like, but there's a lot that I don't like. I'd have to see how it actually f formulates. I mean, they're not trying to make it, it's not like trying to make it easier for somebody to get a good roll weapon but that then he won't be able to trade it so it just becomes yeah that player lock thing has me irritated it's like well, oh, because then once... this god roll but only i am available to use this god roll and that just brings in the discussion of the stash box all that much more are they gonna up the size of the stash box seeing that i can't actually do anything with it it's locked to me right. and, or you know because if i drop it it's destroyed it's gone forever Right. And then once you have your best what? Let's say I have my perfect fixer. I have my perfect grill. Then you're only ever going to make one of the ones you want because you never have an incentive to sell. So you're done legendary farming. So screw those people logging in. You know what I mean? I, I, I don't know. That's just my brain works on it that way. Other games that do that, what happens? People get up to their max, their max, like I got all the stuff, and they just sit in lobbies and show off what weapons they have, but they don't ever... You know, they're done farming, you know? There's no incentive for them to play any longer. They've got everything. Yeah, once you got everything, you're like, oh, I, 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 beat, I beat the game. Right? I can do I can do the same damage as the, my favorite streamer with that god set now. Well, no sense for me to play anymore. Game's over. I don't know. I hope it doesn't go that way. Yeah, I'm not a fan of anything player locked. We have... We have too much player lock as it is. Well, especially with the stash limits. 14,000. 47,000, Brad, on that throw. That was a good one. That was a good run, actually. Both, all three throws were decent. So, is the cremator available with gold bullion purchase now? I've read that it is that it's with the bot out in the crater. I must have sold my cremator on. I so. I haven't been able to find it. Well, you may have to have a certain rep with the raiders to be able to. I think it. I think it, it is that way. Yeah. I just want people to be able to ha be able to have access to it. I think it'd be real crappy if if the only way that they had access to it was playing last season so I'm glad it, if it's there I'm glad it's there that's that's the right move
So I'm personally not a fan of things that are just behind paywalls. Not that the cremator was, you could grind it out in season and got it, but... To my knowledge, you can't get an auto axe unless you buy it. I could be wrong on that, though. I mean, I wouldn't know because I bought mine from the from the Adam shop. I think all the people that I've seen that have them have bought it. I've seen the mods before I bought it with Giuseppe with the stamp vendor, but I didn't see the actual. I didn't see the actual um, item there to purchase with stamps, like I could with the cold shoulder. Is something on my TV? It's on my TV. Or is that something on the screen? Wow, that was an image. Oh, it looks like something on my TV. That's funny. <laughs> you already got nine levels. <laughs> I told you we'd get you some levels. <laughs> you weren't lying. Have you, had, have you had any luck with Foshnot? Did you do any do any of those today? I haven't done today, you know. The last good thing I, that I got out of it was the churn, and that was like two days ago. Oh, you got your churn? Nice. That's actually a really good resource. Forty-seven k on the first throw, not bad. About seven k on that throw. 18. I am going to have to. 12.5k <laughs> on that throw. That nose is getting you. I'm going to have to, like, let you make this next run. I got to step away and actually figure out what the heck. There's something in my nose that's just... <laughs> I, I can't handle it. It's just too much. You know, I'm sitting here on stream. It looks like I'm picking my nose. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't do it anymore. I gotta, I gotta get up for a moment and okay, investigate what the hell my nose, nose is doing. To it, see if that helps. Right, something. But yeah, you're gonna have to run. You know, you guys are gonna run this next one. I'll be waiting out here. I'll be right back. <laughs> well, you heard it here, folks. Jeremiah Big Frog picks his nose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what you didn't read it in that Brad was that uh they're also changing some cards that are gonna affect uh stats. Well, they better not go too crazy. I, I, I don't I, I don't think they wanna piss off some people. They could easily kill their entire fan base. Forty-seven, forty-seven thousand with one toss. Oh. We had a, got a fourth that joined us. This is a good opportunity to kill the stuff that spawned here that killed Jeremiah. Wherever it might I think be. the Rando did it. No, Jeremiah's got pacifists activated, and there's a bunch of dead stuff here. Well, no, but what I'm saying is I think the the rando killed most of the... Gotcha. I'm hitting the ant, the derby game. It, oh, I'm back like, to being uh, 
back to being dead. Yeah, they spawned outside of West Tech. Yeah, I'm respawning. Come on, damn it. Get up here. Why am I 600? Why does it say on my screen I'm 620 or 380 pounds? I'm gonna have to kick off. Oh. Whee! What's that? I have to Ooh, kick ow. that person so I can promote That you. was dumb. Oh, God. Having a fourth makes this so much easier. Yeah. Yeah, don't do what I did and jump off the top of that tower. <laughs> Come on. Just stem. Oh, you got a weird we got a, you got a weird glitch too. You're on your knees, scooting across the ground. Screw it, I'm going in. Oh. <laughs> Hopefully I'll fix it. Did y'all go in? Yep. Okay. I'll have to watch That's that video before uh, I go to sleep. My uh I went down and I I guess got Automatic pick you? back up. Yeah, to bop a berry. Two hundred and seventy five levels to go, Jeremiah. Yeah, I'm cruising. You're not wrong. What's crazy is I got, I got, I managed to still get my script for the day. And some. Not to mention I'm just racing through these friggin' score levels. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. That's gonna be lovely for you. Oh yeah. He's in those first hundred, so he can just his score is just gonna be going. Get all that new stuff to build for your base. That's exciting. Yeah, I'm hoping to hit uh, page fifty nine. I think it is that uh, has the extra caps on it. Oh yeah, there's two of them in there. Yeah, ten thousand cap. There's ten thousand cap. There's 10,000 caps in the season. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, I've gotten one already, but... Uh, Next season, I'm just going to leave those one. leave those alone like Jeremiah was, Martin did. Have them be what a, do you mean? Have them be a bank when I need them. Activate them when I need them. Yeah. I, I just figured what was the point until I actually, like... But I'm going to be activating them, and you know who I'm activating them for. To the, you. To the bank of Brad. Bank of Brad selling me some serum plans. I can't beat that. You can't beat that deal, though. I mean, you gave me a great deal. 10,000? I'm not even complaining, dude. That's compared to if I have to go buy them from the... Had to go buy them from the... The other way? I mean, it's pretty close to half. Yeah, I was wanting the extra caps just for the... Frickin' sake of being low on caps. <laughs> yeah. Forty-seven four seems to be the number yeah. for me on that last door right now. Yeah, I got twenty-two something on that. It's not bad. I got eleven on that Booty. one. Right now, I'm naughty, naughty. Is it me? Or does it just not feel like a Friday night? It just seems weird. It seems off kilter. I think everyone kind of got in the Friday vibes yesterday. Yeah, I can see that. Baby girl. Mm. There's fireworks going off like crazy here again tonight. Oh my! I know it's a lot. Of, I know it's a lot of people are grinding this uh, Elden Ring expansion. And and off stream it looks like because I know I know one guy he streams almost everything but. He has not been live as much, and I've been watching. He's playing a lot of Elden Ring, so. He was originally streaming, but I think he was getting frustrated. I think that new expansion is pretty tough on some people. Yeah, a lot of people don't realize, like, people that are not playing it don't realize that 
Um, it like levels mean nothing in Elden Ring. The game scales with you. If you can go up 200 levels. The game's gonna go up with you 200 levels. Yeah, so it's, you're it's literally, player, uh, you're player literally match. just having to try the same thing over and over again until you beat it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not saying. Well, he he even he even said it. I'm not saying he's struggling, but he even said it's uh. It's it's been it's been rough, but it's good or something. I said I can't remember how to say exact words, but something along those lines, you know. Uh, most people are saying that it's harder than the base game. Oh, and I die coming in the room. Oh. Am I gonna make it? <laughs> the flag got me. Oh, there we go. Not bad. I made it. <laughs> Thank God for the flag. Uh, <laughs> Thank God I realized the flag got me up because there was a moment there I stood there and I was like, wait, no, I'm alive. <laughs> Throw this grenade and get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> well, that door shuts behind you. You only got so much time and then you got to hit the button and then it died to the grenade. Seen it many times. Jeez, 727, Brad. Oh, buddy. We are cooking. We are cooking. Jeremiah Big Frog stream is going to be in a, a level over a level of thousand uh, Fallout seventy six player. It's going to happen. I won't even finish the main story quest. Some of the main story quests, and I'll be a level a thousand. <laughs> oh, dude, I got all those done early. I didn't. I haven't yet. I just every time I get on, I end up doing base stuff or doing this with Brad. I just so I got levels, but I'm not even beating the quest. It's funny. You're gonna walk right through it. <laughs> oh, I already did any of the any of the story stuff I already do, yeah. I'm already at the level where you walk right through it, so it's just you go through them and you just literally just vats everything, kill it. Oh yeah. But kinda like Brad, I, I once I get through all that stuff, get all the patterns that I want, um, find more plans. I think I might get into doing some elaborate builds. Building some cool bases that I really, that I really like. We yeah, have got a couple of new ideas in my mind for some pretty, pretty extraordinary bases. Yeah. I want to try my hand at a sky base. Sky bases just look so weird to me. Do what they told ya. Now you do what they told ya. I want to do you a do sky base, but trick trick the bottom the bottom piece into thinking that it's a roof, so you can see through the floor. Give people anxiety from being up that high. In this game, there's ways to there's ways to trick the game into allowing you to build into the into the atmosphere. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Oh, uh, the location of Mischief Knight is changing as well. What's Mischief Knight? I don't remember what that is. Uh, it's the Halloween event. Okay. I didn't play it, so I don't... It's it, it, Whatever it changes to will be new to me. I was actually... In... I played this game when it first came out. I don't even think it had events. And then, uh... And then I didn't play it till like, two months ago with Brad. <laughs> All this stuff is gonna be... Like, oh, this is new. Uh, I, I don't know where it was before. But now it's going to be in uh, Rapidon's uh, camp. Hopefully there's going to be some new plans. Because I bought all the Halloween plans from last year from a player. 
Oh, I'm sure there'll be new ones. They said in their last press release, Brad, they're fully committed to maximizing Mr. Brad Jones's credit card. <laughs> Over the... <laughs> well, the joke's on them. I haven't been using the credit card. I've been paying real monies. <laughs> I still got the credit card to use, so they better pump some stuff out while I'm still interested. I've been buying stuff that I... I'm like, eh, do I want that? Don't want that for my camp. Do I want this like, bundle? Yep. yep, I do. Oh, say, uh, I'm from yeah. no froggy. I want those billboard letters that you have. And then they're having a uh, milepost zero. There we go. My hat's on loose too, man. This is just like a night where I'm like uncomfortable. It's my hat or my nose is itching. Don't come out and just go right back again. Yep. Go give my good friend Thomas a follow if you haven't already. He's a good friend oh, of yeah. mine that deserves all the support that he can get. Hell yeah. Thomas is the best. Unless you're a bot. Then you, hey, then you, then you... If you're a bot, you're done. Yeah, <laughs> unless you're a bot. If you're a bot in one of our streams, you don't, you don't like Thomas. Thomas takes his moderating duties very seriously. He is a bot destroyer. Yeah, just a casual 25 level so far. There's a casual. That'll be $30. <laughs> Will this be cash or charge? Okay. I don't know. You've elected for charge. Yes, I guess I'll go ahead and take my pants down. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go ahead and take my pants off. Come here. You hyper? Well, I had, I had, I had my cash in my underwear, so I don't know what you were thinking. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> hey, you said it, not me. <laughs> He's got himself oh, a Roman's belt. You should see what I said last night. It's, it's actually been tweeted out. <laughs> oh my. I think that still works. Let me see. No, it don't work oh, anymore. Oh, it does work. Hell yeah. What is it? Oh Cowbell? No, do oh my. Exclamation point oh my. See what it does. Oh. <laughs> Freaking uh. I finally sneezed. I knew it had been tickling my nose so long, eventually. Damn it, Barry Mintat. I was going up. That would have been such a higher number. It was even pretty healthy at 28. That would have been a 30k door. Stupid idiot. Hey, I said you don't have that card on that lets you like auto uh, pick lock, do you? I had it on at one time, but I switched it out for luck and yeah. agility. Uh, luck and something. Yeah, I don't bug. I'm just curious if it was still slotted in. If it was, I was. No, I didn't. He was going to show you a trick. Yeah, it's I much know it's like uh... the rabbit. Just not as delicious. You know the, hey, trick to get some free atoms. The the the, the uh, 
uh, the biggest trick that Trix has pulled on us is they changed their shapes. They're just circles now. They don't actually look like. They, they don't look like the things. Yeah, the horseshoes. The. Yeah, there's. You know, that's budget cuts, Brad. So the cheddar baked biscuits at uh, Red Lobster, I can confirm, are much smaller than they used to be. What? Yep. Is the flavors? I mean, see. They didn't have broccoli. They don't have broccoli right now. Broccoli apparently is too expensive, so they substitute it with green beans. They were awful. They don't know how to cook potatoes. No. See, you're making me want to go to, to like Golden Corral or something tomorrow. <laughs> I was really looking forward to my experience. The, the the crab was great, but it, it they they like they advertised it just being this massive amount, and I got one cluster. That's it. I just I can't do this anymore. Bidenomics is just not working for me. It was it, it was uh, it was disappointing. I mean, when they when they fuck with red lobster, I mean. I think we need to start a coalition with Shooter McGavin. <laughs> it, it, it was dis, it was displeasing. I really hope that they're able to turn things around because I really do enjoy going to the restaurant. Ours was good. Um, I, it could be definitely locational too. Like I've noticed that with the restaurants, sometimes yeah, it can be definitely. We haven't been there that long, though, Brad. And ours was pretty good, but they're not doing the endless shrimp anymore. No in the shrimp? Nope. I should check my stats. I know I got to see where we're at with things. Probably the 30 minute machine ran off by now. And that's about it. Live love's 30 minutes. Everything's going to be about 30, but I bet that machine ran off. We're about to. So I'm going to go yeah, hit that machine. Me and Brad had to, had to repop it while you were doing something. Oh. Picking your nose. Yeah. Blow Blowing my nose. When you want to go pick your nose to get with, that, with deluxe, a Q -tip? that deluxe one out of there. We, we, we. I was I was using an industrial sized vacuum and a very small <laughs> sucking machine at the end, <laughs> tube sucking tube. And that's what you call your finger. Mm. How do you know what I call my finger? For that matter, how do you know what I call my whole hand? <laughs> I heard it's called. I heard it's called Lucy. Lucy. <laughs> oh my. Oh my. Okie dokie. Did Lucy this Friday? <laughs> Rosie, <laughs> my rosy palm. <laughs> Somebody's just shooting your shit up. Is it your turn? No, it's your turn. Okay. Just wondering if you passed. I was running through flames and couldn't tell if it happened. I felt like I was in a for I felt like I was in a, in a fire. I couldn't look down at the moment because my life was in danger. Help me, Tom Cruise. Help me over. My friend's on fire. <clears throat> I almost bought the bundle that has the, the street merchant on it. Oh, that's a good one. I did. I, I did buy it. Brad, uh, Brad convinced me. before the night's over. That's a good one. It is he's a good one. He's not in the shop very often, so I mean, if you don't catch him now... He's and it's not just that. You get the while. you get the cappy stuff, too. The furniture and the... Yeah. Yeah, you, know, you get nice stuff on that one. <laughs> We're done. I'm back up. You're getting a lot of use out of that flag. Oh, yeah. Mm, 8,000? That's low. I try to get people to spend forty-five or seventy-five atoms for an i uh, for an icon that just says four on it. Yeah, I don't know about all that. See, your nose will, will 
trying to itch my ears itching. 70, that, that was a really bad run, Brad. Each door was bad. I'm wondering if I'm missing something. Yeah, you're missing the experience. My turn, Woo, here. got him. Yeah, each door was pretty shit. Recheck your uh, your stats before we go back in. Yeah. Let me pass it to Brad. I'll check them while I'm in there. Barry Mintouch just fell off. Popping a new yep, one. Yeah, two. Heading in. I want the vines for the walls. I really want those vines. What's that in? I don't know what that's in. I haven't seen them in the shop yet. They look real nice. I know the uh, the candle house uh, has vines on it, but yeah, I want to be able it's... to put my own vines on the buildings. Yeah. Yeah, look, everything looks good. Am I seeing? Um, where's the? Oh. Oh, I'm not. Oh, I don't see Mothman either. Oh no! Wait. Uh, Mothman is gone too. Okay, I gotta hit, I gotta hit both of those then. I realize the Mothman had dropped off. Gareth, I appreciate the follow. One of us, one of us. Mm. Welcome, yeah, my, welcome, welcome. My Mothman still got tw uh, like 23 minutes. 47, yeah, I gotta go ahead. 47k. <coughs> Thank you for being a friend. I wonder if that still works. Uh, Bareth, if it's the Bareth I think it is, is uh, from my house Rubicon team. Me I, ra I raid out to him a lot of nights because he's over in EU. He's a cool oh, guy, really cool guy. Bareth is someone from your stream? I believe he's from house Rubicon, yeah. If it's the right, if it's the same Bareth. Bareth 37? I have to double check. It is, yeah. He just came into my chat, so it is. He lurk, he lurks on me a lot, so. Much love, I appreciate you. Yeah, Bareth is a good. Brad is a good friend, Bareth. He uh, he's uh, he's been somebody I've been following since, pretty much day one I started streaming, and we've been following each other and finally landed on a game. Finally landed on a game together that we could both play and enjoy, and been having a lot of fun. We've, we've known each other what. Four, five years now? About that, for sure, at least. Yeah, Barris is a good dude. Streamer? Yeah, streamer, yeah. I have to go through and drop some people some follows. Yeah, a lot of times yeah, he's, he's actually somebody I pretty consistently read into at the end of my night, because he's coming on, so. Um, Would you pull my gun out, please? Thank you. <laughs> oh, my, so my my uh, is one of my family members. They had a coaster that cans fit in, but it fits real snug. He was having a hard time getting the can out, and he he points it in my direction. He says, "Will you pull that?" And I said, "I don't pull fingers. I know that trick all too well." <laughs> <laughs> I got a good chuckle out of it. You're going to go back to writing and editing, but you'll be lurking. Thank you, Bareth. Appreciate you, my friend. Mother. I always appreciate a good right. I always feel like somebody's watching me. Oh, thank you for the biddies, my friend. I get you a shout out. My hands are kind of full. Give me a moment. We'll get you a shout out in my stream for sure. Thirteen K off of that one. That picture I took right there reminded me of Joe's apartment. I, if anyone has seen that movie, props to you. You get bonus points. I don't know what you can use them for, but super cool nineties movie. You're playing Brew Pub Simulator? That sounds interesting. Wish I could have got actually wish I could have got that caught some of that stream. Like something I would have actually probably enjoyed watching. Brew Pub Simulator. Not to my have to even check that out. Either of you seen the movie, Joe's Apartment? 
I have, yeah. It's been since it came out. Like, I saw it when it came out. I haven't seen it since. It's been years. Uh, Chris Chris O'Donnell? Chris, right? I don't remember who's in it. I just remember the talking roaches. Right. It was, an MT it was one of the earlier MTV productions, wasn't it? Sounds about right. Again, I don't remember. It's been ages since I've seen it. I just remember the talking roaches. Dressed up roaches. What was the deal with, like... What was with the deal with Tom Green? Because he was like big and then he just like... Is there some the scandal with him? Huh? He pissed off the wrong people in Hollywood. Is that what it was? Yeah, that's what I heard. What a strange dude. That's what happened to a lot of people. Uh, yeah, Edward Norton. like some sausage? Edward Norton did too. And they just recently started putting him back in things. So somehow he got... It. Back in somebody's good graces. <clears throat> the difference between those two actors is Edward Norton can freaking act. That dude's got range. Yeah. The other dude, on the other hand, is just weird. <laughs> He's just weird. He really reminds me of one of my old roommates, Luke, who was also very weird but extremely smart. He always look. They actually look alike, and there's just something about those two, like almost guy. They're like His twins. His role in Road Road Trip, cringy every time I watch it. He puts the mouse oh. in his mouth. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah. With me every time. Eat yeah. the mouse. The girl comes in. It's like, mm -hmm. some big old mouthful of rat. <laughs> DJ Qualls in that movie is hilarious, though. I, I don't she think gave I, me I her panties. Called... Oh, what did you do? Skin a cheetah? <laughs> I don't think I saw one movie that DJ Qualls had that was not good. <laughs> what did you do? Skin a cheetah? <laughs> <laughs> His role in New Guy was hilarious too. Yeah, I like that movie a lot. More more so for the chick that plays in the movie. Eliza Dushku? Yeah. Oh man. Talk about a oh. gorgeous woman. Howdy. What's her which one? New guy. And she does all that dancing for him when they go to the mall to try and close. Oh my Bruh. goodness. I don't remember seeing that. She is still hot to this day. What's her Wait, name again? Uh, Eliza Dushku. Dushku. I think I know who you're talking about. Didn't she do a TV series also called The New Girl? The New Girl? Uh, I'm not sure about that. I know she was in uh, New oh. Guy. She was in the first Bring It On. Was she in... Um... Well, she was in uh, Hitchhiker's Guide. Is that the same girl I'm thinking of? Uh, different girl. Oh, okay, I didn't. Okay, I just remember that girl also has like a name that's like D some weird sound, dish yeah. dish dots or so. I don't know. I don't know how to honestly how it's pronounced. Uh, it's one of those seen, names. That... I think it was like one of the very first uh, wrong way movies. Yeah, that was a good. Those that series is a guilty pleasure series of mine. I enjoy those. Wrong way? Wrong turn. Wrong turn. Yeah, wrong turn. Wrong turn. Yeah. No, I... The dog's biting my balls! He was just dead. That's what's weird about that. Oh. Not a mailman. Save. Leave me alone. She was in a lot of movies around uh, the early 2000s. Oh, yeah, she was everywhere. Like, you couldn't turn around without having her in a movie in the early 2000s. Uh, filmography. 
that night Jay this Simon boy's Bob life back. she was one of the chicks in that movie jeremiah yes yes which one she was Jer uh, Jay, in... Jay and Silent bob strike back she was the she brunette. was one of the she was the brunette girls, in that yeah. click was she kind of the leader of the three uh she was like uh, the spicy one of the three she kind of played what i call the bitch in that in that group yeah okay okay i know who you're talking about i remember her yeah Where the one that was falling for Jay was, you know, getting all mushy and stuff. She's like, uh, she just started being a bitch about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's like, when the pizza guy shows up, she's like, ooh, I want me some shit together. I see yeah. Italian or something like that with some meaty yeah. Italian or yeah. something. <laughs> yeah. I love the look on the pizza guy's call, face. He's like, Whoop. call me something nice, Jay. Okay, boo boo kitty fuck. <laughs> <laughs> She was also in Jane Silent Bob's super groovy cartoon movie. That was stupid. <laughs> she was in uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Fun fact, her, yeah. she and I were born in the same place. Yeah, I, I was going to say, I thought I remembered her from uh, Buffy. That's interesting you said that, because that's what I was thinking of. My memory go originally to her being in that, right? She was in the, yeah. she was the, she was in the TV series, right? Yeah, she played oh. Faith, yeah. She looks, I mean, she's still a very beautiful woman. But she looks so different now. Oh, yeah. She's only all, 43. They all look different, Brad. They always... I mean, she looks like... She doesn't look anything like she used to. Like, like completely... Her facial... Her, her face is just different. I'm yeah, not going to say she got that's... plastic surgery, because I don't know, but she looks different. You want to know somebody that's completely different right now? The chick that plays on <laughs> the boys. You know, uh... Star, Starfire, from, Starfire, whatever her name is. From, yeah. She looks. She got. She, she's. She's completely different. You know, uh, Amanda Bynes. Yeah. What, what about Renee Zellweger? Amanda Bynes looks completely different. Like, worse. She had a terror. She. There's a lot of stuff coming out recently. We've gotten to discover a lot of terrible things have happen happened to her. Hollywood did to her. her and and... Her That's what it is with a lot of these uh, a lot of these actresses, right? If you have if you get if you have some spare time to kill, there's a documentary on 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 uh, Nickelodeon on Netflix that you guys should watch. I oh, yeah. don't I don't know if I want to watch it and I, I don't doubt any of it and I probably think and I think it's probably even worse than what the documentary even in reality. It majorly went over like Drake Bell. Went, went over what? Drake Bell. Drake Bell from Drake and Josh back in the day. Oh, I never I was not a Nickelodeon. I was not a Disney or Nickelodeon um, uh, angsty teenager show watcher ever. I was too old for that shit when it came around. Yeah, he 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 really got the like the blunt of it. Wasn't into any of that. I can't think of a single one of those. Like, okay, the only one I think probably, and it was just because it was on when you got home from school after you did your chores or so. Probably the only thing I ever watched that was ever like that they can think of. I could be wrong. Was probably Saved by the Bell. It's about it. The only thing I think of. <laughs> I was never into 90210. Well, it's because I had so many sisters growing up, and they were into that, and it just was annoying. It was just, I, to me, it just didn't, I don't know. It was like what my sisters would watch, you know? No, I was into... Dude, freaking, I... um... The chick that, that played, uh, I think her name was Kelly on Saved by the Vote. Oh, she's, she, looked, she looked good for years. Oh, God. Yes, uh, Tiffany Amber Thiessen? Yeah. Yeah. She looks so good. God, I had to look up the other day. There was a... There was, uh, oh, um... 
that's what it was. I looked it up and confirmed because I thought for a minute, minute maybe she was. Um, but I thought for a second there, um, the one that played, um, um, there was Kelly, and then remember the the blonde with the curly hair um, that did striptease. I'm trying to think of her name, I can't think of it at the moment. Jesse. Um, yeah, Jesse. Yeah. yeah. So I was watching. Um, Ma I watched Madam Web the other day, and one of the three teenage girls. I swear to God, the looks. I went to look it up, but I guess she's not related. But I thought for a second I was like, man, yeah. she looks. Yeah. She looks a lot movie. like. She looks a lot like her. I actually thought for a second I was like. Demi, I wonder if she's Demi actually Moore the did strip tease. <laughs> huh? Demi Moore did strip tease. Um, Showgirls. She was also in one of those movies, though. It was called Showgirls. It wasn't strip tease. Sorry. Yeah, Showgirls. Yeah. Yeah, Demi Moore got to do strip tease, and everyone was fine with it. But she did Showgirls, and everybody gave her shit. Yeah. Like the difference of like just a few years, uh, you know, it was unacceptable. I think it was just because she was she just come off of being on Saved by the Bell, so it was just very. That was probably more of the problem. A lot of parents were kind of offended, like you know, we've we've let you know our kids grow up with you, as, and now you do this, you know. I don't know. Yeah, a lot of people started getting pretty angsty right around then. Well, there was a lot of talk about Hollywood corrupting young women. Young so, like, when she when she comes right out of, like, Saved by the Bell and does striptease, right? Like, or Showgirls right afterwards. It, it, I think that was really, like, it just shined a light. It's like, okay. You know. Honestly, that's... Honestly, I know she, she agreed to do it, and... You know, she's, she's good-looking. Why don't she make her own choices, you know? Adults make yeah. their own choices. She's an adult when she did, but... But um, but that's that is on Hollywood that they you know didn't cast her in some other stuff first and and you know give her some real parts you know real experience yeah yeah we'll throw in a few like you know more serious roles but that is Hollywood is uh, you know I, I I don't I don't think anybody's gonna I don't think oh wait oh, okay crap. I thought you actually passed it to him. I was waiting for all that to stop so I could do it. Elizabeth Berkeley. Elizabeth Berkeley. Yep. Gave me a moment. Take me a moment to think of that. Would have taken me a while, but I would have come up with it. I used to know him, Tiffany. And then what was the other girl's name? There was this, there was a um, really good vampire series uh, not too long ago. It was uh, on ABC or NBC that I was actually was enjoying, and um, and it starred uh, it starred Zach, the guy who played Zach, and he, I thought he did really well, and I don't understand why they don't use him more as an actor. He's not, he's still good looking in his you know middle ages, you know, middle age, still. He's a good actor too. I was watching it and I really liked it. It had to do with this uh the a, a post apocalyptic kind of uh, zombie mo series. Mm -hmm. God damn that dog, where'd you go? Oh, of course I have to reload for you, dog. And then you walk away. And then you're gonna come crab bite my ass when I'm doing what I need to do. Yeah, Screw you. There's been quite a few good shows that have come on. There has been it's so hard to get a good TV series to not fail because everybody's all over the place on what they watch. Nobody's on like a certain number of channels or cable anymore. It's it's yeah, everybody wants to have a platforms. There's too many streaming platforms. Yeah. Well, we did it to ourselves. <clears throat> Look, cable and huh? cable and us did it to ourselves. Cable prices got too extreme. People left cable for that reason, and then right. people people willingly signed up for all these different. Um, all these different uh, media services. No. Yeah, they wouldn't. They wouldn't. They, you know, they'd stop making them if they were, you know, if they weren't successful. But, but, sure. but, but people flock to them. I know. Like, I know. I don't pay for all the ones that I use, but I, I mean, I have six or seven that I have access to. I really like. Um, 
a lot of sci-fi series, and it just feels like every time they get a good one, it just it goes for only like a couple seasons and it's done. Right when it's getting yeah. good. Like I, I've run into so many shows that I started watching it on Netflix. And yeah, and they and they run for like two to three seasons, and that's it. And they, it's right when it's getting really good too. It, it just leaves on a freaking cliffhanger, and it's like, what the hell, dude? There's two yep. shows that absolutely pissed me off that they ended them. The first is Freaks and Geeks. That was an amazing show that deserved way more love, and it should never. I don't know if I've seen that one. And a lot of amazing actors got their start off that show. And the other is My Name is Earl, and that's just for personal reason because they left it on a cliffhanger, and I didn't get to see. I don't never get to know what the hell. I watched happen. parts of My Name is Earl. I need to get back to that because I did watch like maybe the first season or so, and then um, I, I think I just got busy with other things, so I wasn't able to keep up with it. But Freaks and Geeks definitely worth a watch if you've never watched it. Fallout, you guys are not going to have to worry about because apparently, um, what is it? They're doing the final season of The Boys, which has been. Um, Prime's, Prime's most watched, and Fallout is its second watch now, uh, and quickly catching up to the boys. So oh, they said, I just saw an article today actually read that says they're, they are, they're working overtime to pump out the next season on that. Oh yeah, it, it's yeah, gonna be yeah. good. Uh, listen of all yeah. these people that were in Freaks and Geeks, Linda Curran, uh, Cardinelli, John Frank, uh, Frank Daly. James Franco, Sam Levine, Seth Rogen, Jason Segal, Martin Starr, Joe F Flanner Flannerty, and it just had a huge cast of people. Huge cast. Huh, I'm not to give that a watch. Probably, that's probably what killed it was that everybody wanted to go off and do other things because no, they were they getting. No, they killed it because they just they didn't think it was going to be successful. They, they ended it huh. after one season. <clears throat> It's got like an IMD, IMDB rating or Rotten Tomato rating for its time of like 8.7 or 8.8, .8, something crazy. Hmm. I really like Dark Matter. That was a great sci-fi series. I don't know if you guys know about that one. I've seen it. What about Firefly? Well, that's that was a while ago, but I mean, that, Dark Matter was a little more recently is all I'm saying. Firefly, at least they could let them come back and do that movie to... You know, to kind of at least end the story for the fans. Dark Matter literally left on a complete freaking cliffhanger where it was going to get really good, and they just it, they just killed it. I had to go look it up to see Pelosi, uh, the, the, the guy who was watching it, did put a synopsis of what the next season was going to be or what he would have done with it just for the fans who want to know how the story would have gone because they left it on a complete cliffhanger. That's kind of like one of the shows that I was watching on Netflix, uh, Warrior Nun. And then the other one was, uh, was, was Travelers. I really like Travelers. That had a lot of good people in it too, Travelers. You know that, that one? No. That's where, that's where people from the future come back, but they take over the body of somebody that was going to die to try to change the future. From like a just an actually apocalyptic future is where they live in the future, and they're they basically just develop the ability to go back. But it, it relies on a well, yeah, I, I won't spoil it for you if you ever want to watch it. It's, it I enjoyed I tend, it. I tend to stay, I, I tend to stay like old school whenever I want to watch sci fi. So for me, like, start, start, Stargate, it's my turn. You look like you're about Stargates to were, Stargates were good. Um. Um, I really liked that one they were doing where the they couldn't control the ship. And the ship was taking them to, like, it was on a mission to get reached, like, the center of the universe or something like that. What was that one? It was, it was the last one they did. They had a great cast, and they, they killed it. They just they ended it. Uh, it was kind of at the I'm end of it. I'm a fan of SG-1. I, don't, I didn't really watch anything beyond SG-1. Yeah, and they kind of left Atlantis, I think, on a cliffhanger when they did Atlantis. I watched a bunch of Atlantis, too. One to check out, uh, if you haven't. It, it got canceled too early, but uh, <clears throat> it was honestly a really good show, in my opinion. It, it was more of a sci-fi type uh, feel. I'm crashing. I'm crashing. Yeah. And uh, 
warrior nun basically warrior the, nun yeah uh it starts out this this orphan girl who's in uh, who has is basically in the custody of the church is dying well she died and come to find out <clears throat> there's a secret sect of the, the church that battles uh demons and uh gotcha. <clears throat> one of the girls gets chosen as the quote unquote halo bearer okay and uh it's actually god's halo and it gives them you know different abilities like per person each each person's ability is different mm -hmm. and uh so they're getting attacked and they have no choice because the current halo bearer got shot and is dying so they remove the halo from the current one and put it in this dead girl's body the halo actually brings her back to life and gives her these uh, these abilities and she's basically like what the hell is going on like why am I alive why do I have super strength you know why can I see demons and all, all this stuff and it's it's actually a really really good show but it's one of those that just got cancelled just way too early. Yeah. I like the SG one. I used to like all the good sci fi's, Brad. Um I just don't think they can make good ones anymore, to be honest, with the, like the budget, you know, for all the graphics and stuff. Yeah. I just don't think they can get the audience now to, to make some of these things to to keep them long enough. Yeah, a lot of these older things, I mean like Star Trek. You know, just any any Star Trek you want to pick. I mean, a lot of it was left up to the imagination. There wasn't like a lot of, there wasn't a lot of special effects that was actually taking place. Right. Are we be doing buffs right now? Is that what we're doing? I was I'm waiting gonna... for you, if, so I felt it was a good time for me to do that. Yeah, I need another egghead, and then. Yeah, oh, yeah, all my buffs are gone. Else. Yeah. Um, let me go to my bed. Cause it's actually getting low too, and go to sleep, and I'll come right back, and then we'll pop everything again. And actually, Brad, you, this is a good time if we're not gonna pop, like, don't pop everything right away. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna grab up, get up, and grab a drink. I'll be right back. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do the same thing. Use the bathroom. Take a leak. I'm gonna head over to your base. Um, halfway protected while I'm away. I'm right back.
Alright. Did you call the boom? Yeah, there's three floaters that spawn over there that I kill every so often for a little uh, more experience. Okay. Shouldn't be drinking a monster this time of night. I'm going to anyway. I don't do caffeine after nine. I don't sleep when I go to bed. <laughs> I need to start drinking water normally again. I'm losing facts here. Oh yeah, all the other buffs run out. Brain bomb's good. Cranberry's good. Egghead marsupial well rest is good. It's just the flags and the lunch boxes that ran out. Well, where did Jeremiah go? He went to his base, so follow me. Yeah, I'm, I'll be back in just a moment. I'm just getting back now. I had to go to the bathroom and stuff. Don't leave your base. Don't leave my base? Okay. Just travel to you. Alright, I'll just go ahead and hit my Mothman then and my machine in here. Go ahead and travel here, Acid. Yeah, I'm coming to you. So, where you were going. We're popping everything now, right? Yep. We didn't know okay. how long you'd be, so... I'm... Yeah, I had to use the bathroom. My wife needed me to put some, uh, some uh, lotion on her back because she's... I told you she got sunburnt. Oh. I'm right here. And I just need... Go ahead and re-up this. Just gotta re-up my food too. Brain bomb. Relish. Uh, Alright, I 
think we're good. Yeah, I've got bubblehead, all the lunchbox stuff. Yep. Mothman, brain bombs, cranberry, egghead, marsupial. Those would be the ones. Yeah, you're looking good. Yeah. All right, I'm heading there. Heading to West Tech. Heading to Brad Tech. Right. Fast travel to the that. Brad Tech base. He built a base before that was kind of up on the hill, past the mutants, and it kind of floated across a rock, and it actually said, had the letter, and it said Brad Tech on it. <laughs> Did it, Brad? Yes, you put Brad Tech on that one, right? Welcome to Brad Tech. Yeah, I was like, welcome to Brad Tech. <laughs> pretty cool. Shit, get out. This is a pretty, it was actually a pretty cool base. Another I'm pretty happy with my base right now. This is cooler though, Brad. I mean, the fact that you got it to land there too is just... Did you go in already, Brad? I'm coming out. Yeah, he's in there. He's on the way. Oh, he's... oh, you already did a run. You're coming out? Okay. You haven't seen my new base yet. All right, you're good to go. I have to come by and check it out tomorrow. Oh, I forgot. I forgot to check one thing. Damn it. I should have checked it first. Ammo and repairs. I bet my. Well, that's why they well. make the repair kits, and I know you have some. I do. How do you know I have some? Are you, are you checking my stream and watching my inventory? I know things. Are you checking? You watching my vods to see how much caps and shit I have? I watch your like, vods hmm. probably more than any other person. <laughs> and I'm at work. They're they're playing. Along with other people, so I watched a lot of footage. Oh, I appreciate that. That's kind of cool. I'm, <laughs> I don't know how I feel. I don't know what to say. I actually feel kind I, of. I can't. I if I can't catch someone live, I try to see what what they were up to. Right on. Good grenades. Good grenades. Got 741, yes. Oh. It's Friday, Brad, I'm 250 levels away from that thousand. And it's only Friday, it's not even Saturday and Sunday. We have Saturday and Sunday, right? Yes, it ends Monday morning. Oh, oh my God, we're gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be at a thousand, there's no question. No question. Really went up 52 levels. 52? Yeah, you should be cooking at your level. That experience should just be like pouring in. But you're getting that score too up. Hang on, before we go in again, I want to check my score and see what... Oh yeah, I've got 200 points to spend. Yeah, I've got 200 points to go through, so... We're good? Yep. When these lunch boxes wear off, and maybe even before they do, I'm I'm gonna be calling it. Oh yeah. Um, getting tired. What are you, What are you gonna call it? I'm not sure yet. What are you gonna name it? The Brad Tech baby. The Brad Tech, baby. <laughs> I like it. I'm gonna get my sweet rest so I can do a long stint tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow night, I'm watching Money in the Bank, so I'm gonna be preoccupied for a while. You're gonna be watching Money in a Bank? It's a WWE pay per view. Oh. Uh. I haven't watched wrestling since Hulk Hogan.
I'm closing in next on 1,200. That next season of Fallout's going to be good. Oh, yeah. I'm feeling it. I mean, they're going to be bringing New Vegas into it and uh, a couple new characters. And, you know, it's going to be good. They're definitely bringing back uh, Brad's favorite protagonist. Who's your favorite protagonist, Brad? I don't know what he's talking about. You don't like Lucy? She's not your favorite protagonist on the series? Oh yeah, Lucy, Lu Lucy and I are going to get married. <laughs> 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 Brad wants to be stuck in a, in a waiting room with her. I, mean, I wouldn't want it either. <laughs> I want to shake her daddy's hand. Hell yeah. Thank you for this wonderful gift you've bestowed on America. <laughs> It's funny that the reason why that came to mind, just even saying that, was um, in the article I read. Um, they they actually used the word like they they said it like they said, and and for the fans, we'll definitely be bringing back some of their favorite protagonists. And the picture is just her. It's just Lucy. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> that was actually on the article. Is which is where I came up with that. Oh, like your favorite protagonist line. Fun fact: uh, There's mods out for, for Fallout Four where you can play as her. Oh, really? Mm hmm. That's smart. Her and the ghoul. Nice. And, uh, you know, the the little syringer pistol that she has? You're up, Brett. Give me just a unless second, already... Jeremiah. Okay, just unless you're already in. Sometimes it doesn't show me. <laughs> oh, shit. Now I'm getting shot in the back. Eh. Die. Die. Die! Die! Anybody else? Something's yeah, back behind Brad's face doing some shit. Here. 